Hello YouTube, Dave here again. Uh, I just want to apologize in advance before I start uh, this video. I just want to let you know that I am currently suffering from a pretty nasty cold. Uh, this is my second day with it now. Uh, last night I had a fever of just under 101 degrees. Uh, most of the night, uh, at one point I had a sneezing fit that lasted for about an hour and a half of just like near constant sneezing. So. I'm hopefully not going to have that happen while I'm recording, but if there are a couple of sneezes or if you hear me sniffle, I, I really do apologize. But I want to get these videos out and recorded. And uh, there's a few things that I want to do uh, videos for today, but the first one uh, that I'm going to be looking to record is an opening of the brand new Tomb of Annihilation dice set. So a little while ago I picked up the Tomb of Annihilation Adventure. This is one of the three items that have come out for 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons in September. Uh, the Tomb of Annihilation Adventures being one of them, the Dungeon Master Screen Reincarnated being the other, and this is the third item. Now I picked this up for uh, $24.99 and I apologize. I've noticed that in some of these videos the glossy uh, glossy surfaces and overhead lights really affect focus, so I, I do apologize for that. But I picked this up for $24.99, uh, which sounds like a lot, but it is actually less than... You can get it. There we go. So it's actually less than the Canadian retail price. So I'm Canadian, <coughs> so I actually saved, you know, a dollar on this. Uh, it's $19.95 US, $25.95 Canadian, and on the back here it just says, Roll Them Bones. Traversing the jungles of Chultz can be a harrowing experience, even without a death curse hanging over your head. Uh, don't go without a good set of dice at your side. So this includes a d20, d12, 2d10, 1d8, 4d6, and 1d4. And there you just have the, uh, the green double face, the iconic uh, Tomb of Horrors thing uh, on the front here. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do is just uh, open this up. If I can get this without... I don't want to damage anything, so I gotta be very careful. Alright, I think that'll do it. So I'm kind of curious with these because I saw them advertised on the uh, Chapters website, which Chapters is a major Canadian bookstore chain, and they do carry the uh, Wizards of the Coast 5th edition stuff. They don't carry like the Gale Force 9 uh, DM screens or anything along those lines like the miniatures or the board games since they're done usually by a third party. But uh, they do carry all the you know first party Wizards of the Coast stuff, and they had this advertised on their website for pre-orders and then like within 24 hours it went to being listed as not available in online or in store so I'm wondering if this is um, gonna be like a limited run thing I mean I don't know if there were any announcements that this was gonna be like a collector's thing or a limited edition or limited uh, print run but I've got this here uh, so again, again this is connected to the uh, Tomb of Annihilation and I'm wondering if this is what they're going to continue to do going forward, like for each of the major storylines. Uh, are they planning on releasing a set of dice to go with it? Because that'd be kind of interesting. Now this sleeve is very tight on there and I don't want to damage it. So here we go. There is the tin with the, uh, the green double face. That well, looks pretty cool. How easy is this to open? I don't want anything to come flying out, so there we go. Okay, the lid's not, I guess I should have looked at it. The lid's not actually hinged. It comes right off. And inside the foam, nice spongy foam, we have our dice. So, let's just have a look at them here. So that's the D6. As you can see, they're just... Need to focus there, the d4. We have uh, both of our d10s. The d12. The d8. And we've got the d20, which is actually a separate color. So this is one of the things I was kind of worried about when uh, they announced it, or when the, you could see the images of it. Uh, I don't know if I like the fact that the D20 is different than the other dice. 
uh, in terms of the color. Like it just, I don't know if it's going to be like one of those obsessive compulsive things, but I think having this be a separate color is something that's going to end up uh, bothering me. The other issue that I actually have with these, and I was really hoping that there'd be a little bit more to them, these are just flat colors and nothing else to them, like not even something like having the green double face for the 20 or you know customizing it in, in such a way or even have the green double face as a one so like when you see you know you messed up so I think that's something that would have been uh, a much better addition I also would have liked to have seen more of like a swirl pattern or like a speckled pattern to these just because like the flat colors um, I don't know it just it, it feels like I don't know uh, I don't think I would want to probably pay the money that I did for this if I wasn't going to make a video for it because like these are very basic dice and I can get a much nicer looking set for about half the price uh, Canadian so I'm a little on the fence about these things I'm not I'm not sold on them I'll be honest I'm a little disappointed with the uh, the way that the dice actually look I was hoping that there again would have been at least a symbol on the uh, on the d20 to really connect it with the uh, Tomb of Annihilation and I would have liked to see more of a pattern on the dice. I mean the starter set dice uh, that came with the 5th edition starter set is sort of like a, uh, a blue dice but it has like a uh, sort of a darker blue or a lighter blue swirl pattern inside of it and they look really nice and that's something that I think they should have done with these. Uh, again having the d20 be a completely different color is probably going to end up bothering me just from a uh, point of view of liking to have like matching sets of things uh, and I think there was a missed opportunity here to include a second d20 if they would have had two d20s in here <coughs> and one was this color and one was the same color as the rest that wouldn't have been so bad but having a second d20 for things like advantage or disadvantage I think is something that the Wizards of the Coast uh, dice sets should start including and uh, again, I wish I wish it would have had a little bit more uh, design to the dice itself. That said, though, the tin uh, that that it comes in is really quite nice, and you know I like the the paper sleeves. So this is probably something that's just going to end up sitting on my shelf. I don't know if I'm really going to use them too much. Uh, however, I do plan on running Tomb of Annihilation, so I may uh, take these dice for that uh, for my D and D Adventures League group. But, uh, you know, the tin, in my opinion, is sort of the nicest thing about it. Oh, and uh, on the back here, I never even looked at the back. It just has, like, what the contents are, the D&D logo and uh, the green devil face. So, there you go. Uh, overall, do I really recommend this product? Uh, my answer is probably going to end up being no. Um, unless you are, like, a serious collector uh, of Dungeons & Dragons. If you're a huge fan of, you know, the Tomb of Horrors and, you know, that's something that you want to have as much stuff for as possible, then, you know, this is fine. And uh, the U.S. price isn't as bad. I mean, the, the 1995 isn't as terrible a price, but honestly, I think that the dice were kind of disappointing itself. Like, the tin's great, the paper sleeve is great, um, but the dice themselves were kind of a big letdown for me. Uh, anyway, let me let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, do you have these? You know, what are your thoughts on the dice themselves? Are you okay with the way that they look, or are you like me and was hoping for something with a little bit more uh, visual flair? So, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you next time.